All right, just really quickly, I'm going to go over the process of getting my model into Substance Painter so that you can follow along. And the first thing you're going to want to do is go to share.allegorithmic.com, go to the meshes section, click on GDC FPS female, and then click download. That'll download an 85 meg zip file. It looks something like this, GDC female zip. Uh, this PBR SSS is actually, if you go into, oh, not that one, this one here, you can go to shaders and you can go and download the, uh, for example, PBR subsurface scattering material and you can go ahead and unzip this one so let's go ahead and just do this so I'll go ahead and grab both of these drag it over to my desktop here I'm gonna go to 7-zip extract here now the GDC female we're going to just run out of this folder uh, the GLSL stuff where you're gonna wanna put that is under documents of suspender shelf shaders go ahead and drop your GLSL files in here and the next time you load up Painter that'll be an option available to you. So let's go ahead and open up Painter and really the easiest way to go ahead and get this thing all fired up and ready to go is go to new project select and for on my desktop here we're gonna have in folder let's go to GDC female GDC female .obj, and then we're gonna add all the textures so in each one of these folders I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the arm texture the flashbang textures and finally the upper body textures and hit OK. Now because the texture set names and the file names are named correctly what you're gonna find is that every single texture set in here for example head SG and you go over here to the texture set settings all the textures have already been plugged in so you don't have to do any of that. I'll go through the manual process in just a second. Um, of course you want to set your resolution at 1024 or 2048 whatever you want to see and if you just want to model with just the helmet go ahead and go have the head selected hit solo and now you can just texture on the helmet, toggle solo off to look at everything all together, and then you can pick something else, toggle solo on, or click all to bring everything back. So however you want to do that. If you did just want to work on the helmet for some reason and just bring in the textures with just the helmet OBJ, it'll be a little bit more of a manual process, but you can do that. So I'm going to go to File, New, and I'm going to discard these changes here. I'm going to go to Select, and then instead of selecting on my GDC desktop, uh, the GDC female, I'm just going to go into the helmet section, grab the helmet OBJ, and then I'm going to add just the helmet textures, and then I'm going to hit OK. Now this one, it's just going to bring in the helmet OBJ. You're going to have to go in here manually and select the normal map for the helmet, the world space normal map for the helmet, the ID map for the helmet, the ambient occlusion map for the helmet, the curvature map for the helmet, and the position map for the helmet. I don't know if I bothered baking out a thickness map. It's like, no, I didn't. But you probably don't need a thickness map for that. So anyway, this is how you would open up just a single piece of the helmet to start texturing. And like I mentioned before, if you did go ahead and load that shader up, if you go to your viewer settings and you click on the shader here for PBR Metal Rough, you'll see that you can now select PBR SSS or anything else that you've brought in.